Ray here with a quick update. As you've heard by now, this weekend, you can get your hair cut, you can get your nails done, and you can finally get that tattoo. But, but what you can't do this month is come back to church, at least not the Point Church. Hopefully soon, but not yet this May. As you know, our church model, it's not very conducive to social distancing. You know, you guys are the most huggy, high-five, non-social distancing church I've ever known. It's deep in our culture, and it's definitely a part of the hunger that we all have to return to our campus. I know if you're like me, you've got these two competing desires. First, you can't wait to get back together again, because you know there's just something about gathering together in one place that just can't be replicated online. But on the other hand, you want it to be safe. So we're doing all we can right now to kind of figure out when and how we might resolve the tension of those two desires and return to our campus. So could you do me a favor? Until we meet here again, would you take time to pray specifically for me and our leadership and our board and our staff? Would you ask God to grant us wisdom to know how best to move forward Listen, I want to be the wise leader. I, I want to lead in a way that points people to Jesus without ever compromising the health and safety of our church and those we want to reach. So would you pray for me? I mean, this is my first pandemic, and I need your prayers. Second, when you pray, would you take time to thank God for what he's already done in this season? I've been absolutely stunned by God's blessing on us, friends. Prior to the quarantine, we averaged 273 people worshiping online. Now there's over 50,000 with us. I, I don't know how to explain that, but I can celebrate it. You know, in Romans 8.28, God promises to work all things together for the good of those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. And you and I, we're called for his purpose, to help people find and follow Jesus. And we're privileged and blessed by God in this season to see God fulfill his promise by taking a bad thing, a pandemic, and turning it to good right before our very eyes. So pray for me, pray for our leadership, and then thank God for his blessings. And then one more thing, could you continue to give like you've been giving? Let me report to you. One recent study I read said that only 7.2% of the churches in our nation have seen an increase in giving in this pandemic. The vast majority of churches are struggling. And I want you to know that you're a part of the 7.2%. Our giving has actually increased. And I just want to say thank you for being exceptionally, exceptionally supportive. You're amazing, and your giving has allowed your church to fully lean into its mission during this pandemic. We're growing exponentially. We're meeting the needs of the people in our congregation who are hurting. We're touching lives in our community and literally around the world. So thank you for being so faithful in your giving. And thanks for letting me share a few words with you today. I'm hopeful we'll gather soon. But until we do, pray for me, pray for our leadership, thank God for his blessings, and keep being a blessing by giving well and loving others. And friends, we'll get through this. And when we do, we'll look back and we'll be so thrilled with how God blessed us and how he allowed us to pioneer and innovate new approaches to helping people find and follow Jesus.